So about six or seven years ago, I called you. It was a Sunday night. And I said, hey, I just like wanted to fill you in on this project I'm working on creating sex positive content for tweens and teens. And you paused mm-hmm. and you were like, that's so weird. Andrew Goldberg and I are pitching an animated show about our years in middle school and about puberty. And it's really not entirely a coincidence that you and I are both working in this area in different ways. Yeah, I mean, it, uh, you. I think the difference being that you were framing it as sex positive content and there's <laughs> <laughs> almost nothing positive about the sex that we're talking about on Big Mouth. Uh, although I actually would firmly disagree with that. I think that's my, my sort of funny answer. But <clears throat> yeah, I think it is not surprising that... Um, we both have been interested in this in this space. I mean, it's why I think it's smart that you guys are doing this show in general, and and why I, I think Big Mouth has worked is because I, I I believe that that period of time of puberty, adolescence, and that those teen and tween years are so foundationally important to, yeah. to who we all become. And also, when you become the parent of a child that age, uh, from what I've observed, it's 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 some of the most complicated and tumultuous time in parenting so but i think specifically uh why you and i were focused in that space i i actually don't i'm curious to hear what your answer is i mean so i don't know if you remember this but when we nick and cara nick and i had rooms next door to each other and we had a shared loft um above the rooms and when we had sleepovers we would each have a friend and we would kind of go between the two rooms Um, And one of the activities that we would do on our sleepovers, Nick with a male friend and me with a female friend, is we would sit and read the book What's Happening to Mm, Me, mm -hmm. which was all about (laughs) puberty. And that was like, that was kind of like sleepover material, hangout material was like looking at the book. And Nick was really generous because he used to let us spend more time on the female, you know, where you're trying to figure out which body is mine. Um, But like, it was in the air, it was in the conversation at least uh, between us mm-hmm. at home and um and mom definitely talked sure about it yeah i, I think our that uh, yes that book is those those drawings are seared in my brain yeah and when we started working on big mouth it was like can we do what we would say the funny version of this like the very sort of frank uh the frank discussion of this and and it was helpful to see and i have a very clear memory of like the the different the bodies as they grow yeah and like what's exactly. this boy what's a boy at 7 10 13 18 24 and like you and i remember being like looking at the penises being like okay that's and that's that i mean that brings us to i think you know what why i'm still interested in this area is is this this like um compare and contrasting that we all do yeah uh, especially when well in, at that age and then for the rest of our lives and i think puberty no matter where you fall in the spectrum of what's happening to you um what what i have realized now in doing the show um is like just about everybody's uncomfortable with it nobody's like at ease with whether you're a late bloomer uh like i was um, and I felt behind the curve or inadequate in that way, or you're an early bloomer and everything is raging and running out of control, you also feel uncomfortable and dislocated inside of it. Um, or if you're squarely in the middle, like you're, you feel like, okay, I feel just average inside of this, but it doesn't matter. Like what, what I think what we, we, we set out to do with Big Mouth was to, to try to cover the spectrum of those experiences and more than anything, just like let people know and specifically let kids know that they are not alone going through this, that like we all went through this, we're all going through it, all of it is normal. 